Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com again. Today we're going to show you how to switch to a different micro SD card on Android. Um, there's a special procedure if you're using Swap, Hero, or apps to sd and that's what we're going to show you. So if you're not already there, go to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that, and look for the how to switch to a different micro SD card on Android video. Okay, the first part of this is figure out what kind of memory card you want, if you haven't already bought. Um, just some things to know. Um, basically class 6. Any memory card that you're going to get, you should automatically grab a class 6 if you can. Um, it's the fastest class that there is right now. The reason we want that is because we're using part of the memory card as, um, as virtual RAM, also called swap, and we're also using it to have our applications on. So whenever the phone needs to access the application or access the RAM, the higher the class, the faster it can do that. So that will essentially lower lag, make applications run smoother, etc. So, class 6 is where it's at. After you've got your card um, and you're ready to swap out the old one, you're going to save whatever it is on your old memory card that you want to keep to your computer as a backup. After you've done that, then we can begin the swapping out process. Okay, so we're going to take our new memory card and put it into our phone. And then we're going to turn the phone off. And then turn the phone back on by holding down power and home until we get to our recovery screen. Okay, once we get to our recovery screen, we are going to Part SD, FAT32, EXT2, and swap. Click that, click the button to confirm, and let it partition. Okay, once it's done partitioning, we're going to convert EXT2 to EXT3. This just makes uh, the EXT section of our card, which is what houses the applications and stuff, uh, able to be accessed a little bit quicker. And let it do that. Okay, so once that's done, we are going to want to put all the stuff that was on our SD card uh, originally that we saved to the computer back to the SD card. We can do that without leaving recovery mode uh, in one of two ways. Either you can take out the SD card and put it into an SD adapter and put it into your computer, or uh, you can do what I'm going to do, which is if you have uh, Amon Ra's recovery image, it has USB mass storage on and off as an option. So... We're going to plug it in, and then select USB mass storage on. And now that that's on, we should be able to access it from our computer just as if we mounted it in uh, the regular operating system. Okay, now the phone's mounted, we're going to highlight everything that we saved as a backup, and drag it over to our memory card, and let it copy. Okay, so now that all my old files are back on my SD card over here, I'm going to find the ROM that I've been using and pull that over to the SD card as well. Okay, once it's downloaded to the SD card, we're going to rename it to Update, as always, and then we can close out the SD card. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to go down to the bottom and turn off mass USB storage. Okay. Okay, so once we've turned off USB storage, we can click apply SD update.zip. Um, if when you do that you get stuck in a boot loop, uh, then come back to this screen again, do wipe data factory reset, and then apply the update.zip again. Um, you should be able to skip the wipe data step, but again, if it gets stuck in a boot loop, then do the wipe data and apply update.zip. So we're going to click update.zip, confirm, and let it install. Okay, once the install from the SD card is complete, we're going to hit reboot system. Okay, and once it's all done, you should be all set up.